absolute power all too often leads to absolute abuse. In 1965, at the age of 70, Prabhupada came from India to New York City to spark a revolution in consciousness. They said that by chanting the names of God, you could find peace, you could be happy. Temples popping up in America like mushrooms in a forest after a heavy rain all over. Pretty rapidly became a part of the fabric of American culture. When the founder of the Christian movement was dying, discussions began, what will happen? They divided the world up into 11 zones and assigned one man to be the guru for each zone. A lot of disciples were doubtful about the qualification of some of these people. He got 11 popes who all competed to turn their temples into the Vatican. There was chaos immediately. They told us that the zonal gurus were as good as God, and so we were to treat them that way. As soon as he got the guru disease, he just got carried away. One really good way to raise money, apparently, was to smuggle drugs. The place was run like the mafia. We do not believe in nonviolence. I was spared. I know many close people who are like family to me who weren't spared. They're killers of the soul, these false gurus. And these new self-appointed gurus, they hold the money, they hold the properties, but they don't hold the morality. It ended in fraud, drug smuggling, murder, nightmares, child abuse. A lot of women had it really bad in this con. I wasn't allowed to talk about it. He was a fanatic on a rampage. And he said that he would destroy me and the community. They just thought if we expose one guru, then we'll have to expose us all. It looked like it was headed for a total control police state. We have to tell the truth or this stuff is going to get worse.